Juliet, this is one of the spots that is now included in the mandatory evacuations. Lots of changes today, changes in the wind, changes in the evacuation pattern. And you can see it right there. Visibility pretty bad around most of this fire today until really the last hour and a half. As these winds have started to push things a different direction, clear the skies a little bit, and you can see the resulting plume from the fire now drifting a little bit more towards the north. That is one significant change. As you have been mentioning, there are some real changes ahead. We talked with Cal Fire about how they are managing all of this. For the last several days, we've been working on a with a wind that's been pushing out of the north northwest to the south southeast, and that's why a lot of those warnings and orders have been in place for the Russian River community. The wind is now going to come out of the south southwest and push to the north northeast. With that, the concern now focuses on this side of the fire, and so that's going to be everything from the west side of 101, from up around Geyserville down through Healdsburg. I heard that they're starting to evacuate people up outside of Windsor. Up and down the western side of 101, this was another day to know your evacuation zone. We're just hoping we can get through the next three days and, and be okay, come out okay on the other side. These areas had been under an evacuation warning for days, but now was the time to clear out with the anticipation that fire crews would be moving in. So our main concern is for them and their safety and to get out of their way so that they can do their job. And Cal Fire has been laying the groundwork for this job. Over the past two days, we have shown you the heavy air attack complete with the super tanker in the areas northwest of Healdsburg and west of Geyserville. Essentially, that air show that's been taking place on the north side of the fire, along with all the bulldozers cutting in lines, and is, it has essentially been preparing for this. But what is harder to prepare for is the approaching weather and the possibility of more lightning. So the struggle right now is is where is the system going to move through move through exactly? Not only the lightning, but the weather conditions that come with those thunderstorms. So you've got downdrafts, you've got winds on the front end of the system and the back end of the system. All those are potentially going to play into how we operate and what our priorities are over the next several days. Wilson, you've seen firsthand the progression of this fire. You've been up there for four days now. So what have you been noticing over that time in terms of the mood or the sense of urgency? Well, it, obviously, it sort of changes day to day. I think, you know, today you really had the sense that this thing had changed dynamics a little bit. I mean, you can actually kind of feel it out here. Uh, all those folks over there on the west side of 101, I, I'd been there for, for two days when that was a, just a warning zone for the evacuation. Those were the people that were lined up on the road watching the air show from Cal Fire, knowing that the fire was sort of threatening the Guerneville area, the Chemise area, those spots up in the hills. Like Cal Fire, they knew this was an eventuality, that, the, that the, the, the circumstances would change and that danger could come that direction. So when they got the word today, they had had a couple days to, to think about it. They were ready to go. The folks you saw packing their cars, they'd had several days of warning that this was going to come. And when you add the weather that is coming tomorrow, you know, you heard it from Cal Fire specifically, the uncertainty is, is really picking up again. And, you know, not just here, down in Santa Cruz, across over in Napa. I think everybody kind of holding their breath right now for what the next 24, 48 hours are going to bring and, and what things look like when that is all over. Yeah, all right, Wilson, thank you.